Oh, that does not look safe at all. What in the world? Today, we're going to be driving the SS Victoria through the Bermuda Triangle. Let's get started. And I forgot to mention, we filled this thing completely full with passengers. We definitely are overloaded here. We're going to be turning on some exterior lights, interior lights, and all this stuff. And let's get this thing started. Um, I think we actually have to start the engines below deck here. So let's go ahead and walk down there. So we're in the firebox room right now. We're going to be activating the firebox just like that. And any minute now, this thing should actually start driving away. But um, while we're waiting for it to kind of spool up here, we're going to increase the throttle and actually run a tour of this thing real quick this is the main bridge right here where i am located at and we have some lifeboats just in case two on the sides with some cool um exterior windows here looking very nice here let's go deck below here and actually see what's going on down here so let's open this door it's the smoking room so this is where people smoke at okay okay looks pretty nice in here now let's go directly behind the smoking room see what's in here so this is like the main um area here so this would be like the grand staircase you could call it with the clock right here of course and then we have a whole bunch of nice seating area so this is a very luxury boat i'm pretty sure it did sink in real life please let me know in the comments of course then we have some bathrooms on that side right here and this is the front deck right here with um debbie of course she's on this boat okay then we have the cargo bay right here which is uh completely awesome this part is um where it actually sinks at if we do sink it today and then we have the chain room so this is our anchor i'm pretty sure but then we have the grand kitchen okay we're gonna turn on these burners and start the ramen noodles as of course but let's actually go down another floor here so we're getting very close to the water line if not below it so yep the portholes are pretty high i do hear the firebox burning right now which is awesome but let's go over here see what's going on so there's a whole bunch of actual um passenger bay compartments and we actually have some people down here um yep so these are all passenger compartments and then up here's just some seating and then i think these are um bathrooms then this is the entrance to the engine room so we walk down here and then that's actually where we started it at but that's basically it on this deck and then if we go even lower so this is way below the water line here we have some watertight doors that can close on emergency it has very nice interior to it but here we go when you start running here um i'm surprised it hasn't actually started yet there we go we are starting to run perfect perfect okay we are going slow but this thing does pick up some speed so about eight kilometers away is the center of the bermuda triangle and we're going to be driving over and we're going to be seeing if this ship can actually survive it so that's going to be quite interesting this thing is a very old ship i think it did sink in real life actually we have a picture of it right there which actually that's a really nice um detailed picture of it but then let's test our whistle here oh Yep, I definitely hear it. It definitely works. All right, um, we have a whole bunch of people on deck, so hopefully um, they know how to get inside if uh, like a rainstorm happens, which of course would never happen. It's the Bermuda Triangle. Everything's perfect around there, I've heard. So let's go out on deck here so we can spot like icebergs and stuff. Hopefully we don't hit these rocks that are um, below the water here. Although we can't see them, this thing does hang pretty low underwater, so we might still hit them. No, I think we'll definitely clear it. There we go. Then we just got to finish turning right here, and then this is a straightaway straight to the Bermuda Triangle. So that's where we're going today. Oh, this is going to be slightly worrying. I didn't not check the weather radar so i am kind of prepared for everything i am starting to see waves which is unfortunate because we literally just left okay so that must mean we are entering a storm we can't see any clouds so that's um interesting it must just be pretty windy i'm gonna put some of these people actually inside here because i don't want them all on the deck just in case like a wave crashes over especially on this front deck here so we're gonna bring them to their rooms all right so where is your guys's rooms at that's definitely not a um, passenger room okay just keep following me guys yep 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 this is the grand staircase all right it's looking nice in here but i'm bringing you guys down to your room so these are your three rooms right here so debbie this is your room right here i'll put you guys in your bed so you guys can relax for a little bit i know it's been like a stressful day here all right there you go then i'll close your guys's door um just let me know there is a button inside of your room if you need anything so i'll come down there if you just click it so please let me know and same with the people up here so you guys do have some rooms you guys paid a whole lot of money for this so i have to bring you to your rooms this is part of the service and then we have our chef in here actually cooking up some ramen noodles for everybody so i hope you guys enjoy what he's making um i don't know if he's a good cooker or not but he kind of looks like he is so i put him there oh i do hear some sprinkling going on outside our um boat here i do see some sprinkles okay so everyone clear decks so it is starting to rain close all external doors here all right so make sure no one's on deck here oh there definitely is a whole bunch of people on deck okay you guys need to get inside it's definitely sprinkling out here don't get your expensive clothes wet so i'll bring you inside then we have some people back here in our cargo bay all right checking on the cargo doing some inventory checks hello hello we're definitely entering the Bermuda Triangle here if you look on our map. So we're definitely already in the triangle. Oh, that's slightly worrying. It's definitely starting to pick up outside. Is there anyone on deck? So I think I got everyone. Oh, I need to close that door right there. Oh, crap. I have to go out there again. All right. How's it going in here? It looks very nice in here. I like the interior with like the raining outside. It has a pretty cool vibe to it, honestly. I could do this all day if I'm going to be honest. It looks so nice in here. How's it going back here? Okay. It looks like you already have your um, life jacket on. I don't know if you're kind of scared or something. I'm a good captain here, so there's no need to worry. Okay. Yep. You guys are in good hands. Here, I'll put you in this booth here so this is only for first class vip people but you guys will have it since you guys were my first guest on board so 
Oh, yeah. And then this is our nice picture of the boat here made by an artist in Italy. Oh, yeah. All right. Ramen noodles are done, you said. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll give you an erase if they are good. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm, these are some pretty good ramen noodles. Do you guys agree with me? These are really good ramen noodles. Okay. That guy's getting an erase. Wait, what in the world is that outside my boat? Oh, my gosh. Okay. I think we need to go back above deck here. Oh, this is not good. I was not expecting this the second we got in it. Oh, my gosh. We're on the wrong floor. Oh, no. Um, Everyone brace for impact. We have a small wave um, in front of our boat here. I'm getting inside. Um, I'd recommend getting in a seat. Oh, gosh. So many people are standing up. There's someone out on deck. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. All right, here we go. I'm angling ourselves towards the tsunami. So that's how you are supposed to hit it. I did research on it because, um, of course, I'm the captain of a boat. Here we go. All right, we have a small rogue wave incoming. Um, Hopefully, we have all water compartments uh, sealed. Yes, we do, I think. All right, perfect. We are starting to rise the tsunami. Ooh, this thing's actually doing quite well. We haven't even gone underwater yet. Never mind. We are going underwater. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We are, like, completely out of water. Okay, throttle down, throttle down. Oh, this is not good. We are getting way too much airtime for a boat like this. Oh, please don't flip over. I think we'll be fine. Here we go. Oh, piercing the water straight. Oh, my gosh. Don't flip. Oh, that was really rough. That was really rough. Okay, is everyone okay that was still standing? Oh, my gosh. Even the people that were standing, they're actually doing okay. All right, that's good. Um, perfect. We did survive, but that was honestly very scary. Oh, my gosh. That could have done so much damage. I have to check. It probably broke all of our plates. Sir, are you okay? Oh, my gosh. Do you have any damage? Oh, he does have some damage. Okay, I forgot to see. Do we even have a medical bay in this thing? That, I don't think we do. Oh, gosh. This guy's not going to do too well. Okay, we'll put him in the smoking room. Smoking is terrible for your lungs, but um, we'll just put him in there. He'll be fine i think he's into that stuff anyways like i was saying only vip oh my gosh okay please don't look behind you or look outside we're having some oh my what did we just enter i think we just entered like the biggest storm ever okay i need to go outside here what is going on out here oh it is pouring out here okay yep get inside get inside i'm not trying to ruin my shark hat on my head right now um yep all right everything's going good in here it does look pretty cool outside though it's really scary out there actually but we have just one kilometer to go before we are in the center of the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, that's going to be worrying. None of these passengers actually know that we're going into the Bermuda Triangle. They just thought we were going on a cool cruise. Um, That's um, a little bit unfortunate. That's their fault, though. Oh, oh, my gosh. The waves. The waves are starting to pick up. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wait. Um, OK, I thought those doors were open. I was a little bit worried there for a second. But we are doing good in these waves. Um, we are bouncing around quite a bit i can definitely feel it i can tell you that it's probably getting some people seasick down there why don't we um get some bags and give people some barf bags my goodness these waves are definitely picking up oh i need to hit them head on head on oh my gosh that is not good at all um okay i think we might be taking on water we need to throttle down we're definitely popping wheelies here oh gosh okay you know what? we're gonna completely cut the throttle guys all engines are being stalled currently we are having some slight issues here these waves are a little bit concerning these bermuda triangle waves do not play around we definitely chose one of the worst days to do this i think i'm going to actually throw up these waves are getting so big what is going on with this um server right now we are in the center of the bermuda triangle so it does make sense we're gonna slam down our horn here to let everyone know that we might need help here in just a couple minutes oh gosh okay so we do see some mainland over there that is a good sign though oh this is not good at all okay um i'm gonna go down below deck here and see how the passengers are doing hello hello are you guys doing good in here i'm sorry about the small waves here we're just having some slight stormage going on oh my gosh it is really wait what is that is that water what what it's not water oh we left a door open oh no 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 close that door close the door i forgot i thought i closed all the doors what in the world okay oh that is not good okay we need to go below deck here and actually see if we have water because there's actually people down there all right hello is there any water down here okay i don't think this is the lowest deck okay right here is any water down here um i don't see any i think we're fine wait what was that i did see something right there hello boiler room operator how's it going any water down here that you um saw or heard of we did have have some waves crashing over deck here and someone left a door open i wonder who that was it was probably like a passenger of some sort we are starting to lose visibility the waves are definitely calming down though because as you can tell the waves were 10 times worse before but these are still some pretty rough waters i can say that it does look like it is starting to calm down out here the rain has definitely stepped down okay it's looking nice out here i wish there's more um actual lights on the deck here it is pretty um dark but we do have our cargo bay compartment right here hopefully no water crashes over deck because this thing will sink instantly but well, that is insane look at that right there Oh my gosh, there's so much cargo in this thing. Wait, what's that? We're getting reports coming in from a local news station saying there's a tornado. Nope, we're hammering it. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's a tornado touching down near us. It said, okay, we are hammering it. Um, 
Let's look above us, see where, what's going on here. Oh my gosh, we need to hurry up. We need to hurry up like right now. That's touching down right below us. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, please not run the tornado. I'm not trying to go into a tornado. I definitely feel it trying to bring this ship straight into it. Okay, that's not happening though. Oh, the center of the Bermuda Triangle does not play around, guys. Oh my gosh, why does a tornado have to spawn? I forgot we were just in a storm, so it does make sense why a tornado did spawn in. Let's go below deck here and actually see if people want any food because we do have a whole bunch of snacks on this thing. I forgot to um, actually hand out here. All right, you guys just ate. Okay, I did remember that. You guys are fine. Um, what about these two people over here? Hello, do you guys want any food? So we have some Debbie's cookies and some Powerade. Do you guys want any of that? No, okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Oh my gosh, these waves are definitely getting rough here. I definitely feel them way more in here than the captain's quarters, which is quite interesting. I'm gonna check on the people below deck now and actually see if they want any food. Why is there water like crashing through this room? What the heck? I hope that's a glitch because that is really concerning me. Okay, um, is there anyone back here? All right, hello. What do you guys want for food? Um, You want some Debbie's cookies? All right, I'll go grab some for you. I'm gonna close the doors behind me because I'm kind of concerned about the water. All right, let's open. What, what the heck? Why is there water? Uh, I don't know. I think this part of the boat's glitched or something. All right, let's open this door right here. All right, so what's going on up here we do have some water on board it does look like okay i'm sorry uh you want some cookies too all right i'll go grab some of those what's up here um okay there's not even a door up here to go up front anymore let's kind of check on this cargo bay over here so let's see oh they were flooding it with water oh no go inside go inside okay there we go we are inside um wait what is that uh looks like we have a water leak um wait is that supposed to that is not supposed to be there um we are taking on water it doesn't really look like we're taking on a whole bunch of water never mind it kind of does okay we might have to start doing emergency procedures here oh gosh why is it so far underwater okay we need to go we need to run we need to run okay go 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 oh oh no Oh, no. Oh, I can't see anything. Okay, close the door. Get inside. Get inside. I'm sorry I let a whole bunch of water in, guys. Um, we need janitors. It is pretty peaceful outside, though. I can say that. Oh, my gosh. This thing is really leaning like it was leaning towards the front there for a second. Oh, my. Wait, hold on. Are we taking on water? Um. Oh, gosh. It might look like we are. Guys, I think we're taking on water from the front right now. We need to start evacuation processing to the lifeboats. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. We are definitely taking on too much water. All right, everybody follow me, including the best kitchen chef ever all right everyone follow me we're gonna start loading light boats here this is just um this is actually an emergency i was gonna say it's a test but it's definitely not okay we're gonna have a whole train of people behind me here um it's good that you already have your life jacket on that's probably one of the best ideas ever we are having some situations going on right now um wait why aren't you guys following me all right i thought i put some people in these cabins here was i wrong about that okay might have been the other side oh my gosh there's just too many all right hello hello you guys have been sleeping the entire voyage but um we're having some watering issues here Everybody, please follow me. We are taking on water below deck here. Oh my gosh. All right, I think we have about um, most of the people here. There's a whole bunch of people. Oh, I forgot about the boiler room. Okay, that's fine. We just need to start loading these light boats here. Um, that's the wrong deck. Okay, how do we get higher? I don't even know. We're having some issues. Oh my gosh, I definitely feel it leaning towards the front here. This is not good at all. All right, start loading the lifeboats, please. Why is there only one freaking passenger up here? I definitely brought more. Oh my gosh, why do the AIs do this? I try saving everyone, but then they like decided not be saved. Okay, everyone follow me. Why did it tell you to stop following me? I never said stop. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, this is your lifeboat here. This is all part of um the training test we're doing today. Yep, of course, totally not. So lady, can you stop jumping out of the way? Oh my gosh. Okay, everyone, we are starting to load the lifeboat now. Everyone come over here. Why are you guys standing over there? Oh my gosh, this is not good, guys. We're definitely sinking right now i'm gonna be honest with you oh it's crashing over what was that oh um why did it just rocket boost us what in the world was that okay you guys need to come right here there's still people below deck and you guys are all goofing around oh my gosh there's actually gonna be so many people dying today i can't even do anything about it because these passengers don't even know how to like walk in a straight line oh my gosh what are you guys doing okay, um we packed this light boat full perfect just like that and then the driver will be this lady right here perfect um debbie i'm gonna start loading you on the next one I need to go below deck here, and there's actually so many people still down there. You don't even want to know. Okay, we're going below deck here. Oh, we need to hurry this up. We're taking on way too much water. I can t Oh, oh my gosh. Um, um, are we even supposed to do this without flooding all these compartments? Uh, we might have to leave them down there, guys. This is not good. Is there, like, an emergency entrance? Oh! um what it's flooded in the engine room all the way to there oh my wait it's completely underwater let's check a sneak peek in the engine room here um yeah never mind we cannot be going in the engine room today oh i forgot about that lady there oh we're we're sinking guys we're sinking right now we need to hurry this up oh this is not good it's actually starting to flood in from that door right there go 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 oh there's water crashing over deck oh no oh uh hello uh sir you need to come and follow me please follow me follow me okay i'm gonna um launch this lifeboat here you guys get in that one right there and where did that guy in the suit go um 
Um, okay, he is swimming. Okay, you know, that's fine. That's fine. All right, we are going to be releasing the lipo here. Everybody, please prepare for some turbulence. Oh my gosh, it is really getting close. Okay, we need to hurry this up right now. Go, go, go. It's going so slow. Oh, that does not look safe at all. What in the world? Okay, that's not safe at all. I can tell you that. Okay, you guys need to click that emergency launch button in the middle here. I'll do it for you. Okay, emergency launch, and then you're going to want to click those two cranks there to actually start driving. This lipo is not doing too well. Okay, start driving. Click the cranks. Click the cranks. I can't click it because you're in the way, sir. I'm trying to drive them. Oh, that's... I think they're stuck. They're stuck. Oh, oh, it's sinking. Um, wait, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, sir, I need to, I need to take control here. You clearly don't know how to use a light boat. Oh, this thing's completely going down. Okay, click those two cranks. And just like that, it should start moving. Um, oh, this is not good. It's that we're literally at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh my God. Um, well, that was one of the worst rescues I've ever done. I can say that that thing is going down insanely fast. Oh my God gosh okay well that was a completely failed rescue right there wait um well the light boat's going up you know what? i might be able to rescue them if they actually float back up if this thing actually has like a does this thing have a defibrillator on it no it doesn't you know what i'm getting the heck out of here this actually never happened i don't know what you guys are talking about oh gosh a light boat wait um we have some survivors okay i'm going towards you guys oh we do have some survivors okay i'm impressed oh so the guy that actually was swimming survived so we should have probably just had them all swim and not be in the light boat because that was like a jail for them and they all died okay hello guys i I am going to pick you up here. I'm sorry about the inconvenience of our boat sinking, but you know what happens in the Bermuda Triangle. I meant the um, seas of the ocean. Yep. Okay. I think everyone floated back up right next to that person. That pro dude is probably traumatized seeing what um just floated up right next to him. I would be too, to be honest. All right. Hello. Hello. Any survivors over here? Oh, is Debbie dead? Oh, I thought... Is that Debbie right there floating with her head down? Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to rescue Debbie first. Debbie, you need to get in here. All right, we'll put you right there. We'll calmly put you guys down. All right, you guys need to stop sleeping. This is not a time to sleep, okay? Stop playing around. Um, We need to rescue the survivor here. Okay, well, not a lot of people actually ended up surviving that. Um, We have around three survivors, including me and this person there. And then Debbie is dead. Okay, so there's really not a whole lot. But that's probably going to be it for the sinking ship survival in the Bermuda Triangle. Let me know if you'd like to see some more bermuda triangle of course but that was insane we sunk so insanely fast when that went over deck like that was crazy let me see how far it actually is down there oh my gosh i can't even see it okay we're gonna keep going down oh it's at the straight bottom oh my gosh okay is there any survivors in here oh it's completely filled with water no survivors at all whatsoever even in the engine room here but all the people in those cargo bays are definitely not doing too well wait why are they like glitching through the ship okay that's a little bit weird but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell turn on notifications join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and and goodbye.